Bad on Bears fans, a home win. It's been over a year, and we got Lance Briggs here to break it down with us. We got to talk about Fields versus Bajant. Everybody's okay. having a conversation. Look at their beloved defense that looks Ooh. like they're coming into form. Linebackers flying around everywhere. I just, I just want to watch a game next to Lance. I know you were up in the box yesterday, weren't you, watching the game? Uh, 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 briefly, briefly. Briefly. Yep, I was um, – um, I was invited up, had a good time, and then uh, headed over to the studio. You know, uh, saw an angle of the football of the football field that um, that I haven't seen before. Really? You know, I've been up. I've been up. It was just a different box. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it was a different box. It was a different angle. You know, and most of my career, I was always on the field. Well, yeah, you're you know, probably not then, spending much time in the box. And then once I <laughs> once I retired, you know, I've always been in the studio. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's just one of those deals. You know? Hey, I, that's awesome. Seeing Soldier Field in a different light. Hopefully, you know, mm -hmm. not too many more seasons of that. Coaching staff and I had to drive day yesterday, so I am very disgruntled. I'm not going to lie to you. Leaving yeah. Soldier Field, it's just, I was walking back to McCormick Place just like, I just left my favorite team stadium, and I'm walking 30 minutes to get to my car. Mm -hmm. This is insane. Yeah. But hey, that's that's a personal brief, uh, personal beef. But we also got to talk about coaching staff and grades. All that and more in today's episode of the Chicago Bears podcast brought to you by the Hard Rock Casino, in Northern Indiana. You see comedy legend Jay Leno at Hard Rock Live Saturday, November 11th. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster.com. Now we got a lot of football to get to, but I got to address this because Lance hit me like a fan yesterday and it was crazy. <laughs> This I saw, pre -game. This I saw pre -game. Lance pregame, uh -huh. and I don't think he realized who I was <laughs> because I walked up. I was like, what's going on, man? Lance hit me like this. Hold on. I got to get the shades. I'm a, more promise. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we're doing good. Lance said, Lance said, be with. Hey, how you doing, brother? Good to see you. Yeah, yeah. Stay blessed. Stay blessed. Yeah, stay blessed. Stay blessed. It's the hand with the point. Dog, I was like. I looked at Lance and said, Lance, I ain't no fan. What's good? Dog? He's like, oh, Pat, what's going on, baby? How you doing, man? <laughs> well, you know that I am because of the way that stage is, the way the stage is, you know what I mean? The the, the week one, yeah. I was going up and down that, that stage, ah. and I was like, man, I can't do this. Hey. My, knees, my knees, I can't handle this, you know? So, you know, and, uh, you know, I had the shades on, and so when I was, you know, because I was just coming off giving somebody the, hey, what's yeah, up? Yeah, yeah, hey, yeah. Hey, you good, you good. He just switched straight to me. He just switched straight to me. Hey, what's up? Hey, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, you are very, you're an awesome person to represent the Chicago Bears oh, because you're well, very, you. no, no, because you're very aware of how fans are and you give them a lot of leeway because there was a couple of times where fans were like lance it's great to see you bro. Oh, yeah. and i was like y'all yeah. know he like hit people for a living right like y'all gotta but yeah. that's a that's that's always um um that's always the 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 it's 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 what people always feel how, how they always feel about me they're like you linebacker you're tough you can take yeah. a big hat you know here and there but it was know? some big dudes out there the raiders dudes were weird that was a little weird yeah yeah you know well here's the, well here's the thing too you know i mean i'm i'm from northern california yeah. so uh i'm very familiar with with the raider scene yeah now there were two people that walked by that i went to high school with Mm, right okay so you know i'm and that's part of the, you know being in the crowd and i hear hey uh hey hey go el grove and I'm, turn <laughs> you know <laughs> you know and then you know um a young lady i think she was a, i think she was a cheerleader i think she was a cheerleader and she's like hey you know you don't remember me she's like we went to el grove together we graduated together i'm like oh yeah i do remember <laughs> now that you say it, yeah you know, it's always good when you get those, and it's not like this is uh Lance the Third. Yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> wow. Hey, I was starting to show oh, off on fire. Shots. That's, that's for treating me like a fan. No, I'm just playing. Dog. I'm just playing. Hey, it was hilarious to me because my boy was like recording. He's like, "Say something to Lance." I was like, "Why am I saying something to Lance?" Like, he right there. Lance was good. Hey, what's going on, baby? Good to see you. Cool. Hey, Blessings. Hey, Keep buddy, it up. <laughs> Let's jump into this game, Lance. There was so much uh, excitement on the field yesterday from the young Tyson Bajent. Um, and unfortunately, right, instantly, all the media around there is creating the controversy between him and Fields uh, and who's going to be the starter, who's the long-term answer, who's the future of the Chicago Bears here. I heard Cap uh, this morning ask you and ask the crew, you know, if, if Atlanta comes calling and says, you're giving a second-round pick right now. I said no. 
for for, for Justin, Justin Fields. No. I said no. Why would I do that? Why would I give up a second round pick? I was like, is there a price? Yeah, there's absolutely a price. There's always a price. 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 (laughs) You know what I mean? This is a business. It's a business, but not for no second rounder. Nope. So, you know, and but again, like I'm, you know, a a, a week ago, you know, a week ago there, you know, uh, Cap talked about, you know, uh, uh, Eberflus being fired. Yeah. You know, he's got to go. This week and and last week, you know, people were upset that I said the coaching that uh, a coach got a B plus or a B minus or B, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, but I, what I see is this team getting prepared and how they go out and approach the game. Yes. Okay. It, you know, there's there are a ton of mistakes that are happening, but I see a different team today than I did week one. Yeah. Week one was an effortless. They didn't have inner energy. There was nothing about them that said, I'm, I, I'm ready to come out here and, and compete, you know, and I, what I've seen is I've seen a progress. Uh, each week of this team getting better, and it really uh, started to happen once uh, Iberflus took over on defense on the uh, as a defensive coordinator. Yeah, no, and and I think the the issue that a lot of people are looking at to me, and, and that they're skipping over. Explain to fans how hard it is if one key piece on your team changes to adjust to somebody who's not used to that. Because the thing that I saw on the field, we saw two weeks of Justin Fields with a similar offensive line to what was yes. out there. He threw eight touchdowns, one interception. He put you in the game. In that game, we lose to Denver. Yep. In a position to win, your coach decided to go for it. Yep. We saw them change a very key piece on that offensive line. Yeah. And Cody Whitehair at the snap. Now they switch back, and Tyson Bajant again goes out there. And he, listen, this is not shade. This is not – but it's the versus thing that's irritating me. I'm happy Tyson played well. Yeah. I want, and I, and I, listen, I'm, I want to see every – uh, bear successful. You know, I'm rooting for Bajant when he's in. I'm rooting for Fields when he's in. I'm rooting for our offensive line. I'm rooting for our defense. Yeah. I'm rooting for our coaches. You know, um, I know that – I know just like any every, every other Chicago fan that we've been through a lot. Yeah. You know, if there's any city in America that deserves a winner, it's this city. You know, but in order to do it, we got to do it the right way. You know, we can't keep saying, okay, we got to cut our ties now. Oh, yeah. it's not working. Ah, oh, cut our ties, cut our ties. It's cut a timing ties thing. You know, because we clearly were a, a, a city last year that, you know, we lost, but we were like, yay, we're going to get the first pick. We yeah. we knew we didn't have talent last yeah. year. We knew we were we didn't have talent. Yeah. Um, And so to add all of last year onto every time you want to make an argument for this year, it is a, it's not fair. It's not right. You know, and 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 it is, and again, it's not fair to who we have and what we're what progress we're trying to make. You know, <clears throat> now over all the pieces, uh, gonna gonna be here when this progress gets to where we become a championship team. I don't know, but we need to do Probably this the not. right way, and it's a slow process. <laughs> yeah, and, and and just explain right, like when you lose that one key piece or you change that one key piece, yeah. how does that change how you go out there? Y'all have played games right without yeah. Brian <laughs> on the defensive side. How it's does that huge. change? It's uh, huge. It's the huge. There's the things you can do. There's things you can do. Let's let's take the center for example. Yeah. Just having a good snap, you know, <laughs> just having a good snap. I mean, shoot, that's going to that's going to bring success on eighty percent of your plays. Yeah, eighty to ninety percent of your plays starts it, would, it off right. You know what <laughs> I mean? And, and 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 so for us defensively, without Brian, you know, you you could look at the records. You know, we we were like two and two without him, and 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 four and one with him. Yeah, you know, so uh, so it's just. It's there's there's things you can do when you have your best players there, you know, and when you don't you there's a lot of there's a lot of uh, watering down, you know, simplifying, you know, well, we can't do this, this and this because I don't know if if this guy can handle it. I don't know about that adjustment. So uh, you take a you you take a hit when when you have in in our offensive line, you know, who knew that they were going to play as well as they did. You know, when we have 31 combinations over the last they, 24 they days. They stopped Max Crosby. I, I've, I haven't seen since he's been in the league. I don't think I've seen somebody stop Max Crosby. Well, he got one set. He got one set. He did. But, like, one Max set, Crosby you, is absolutely. Though, You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> he doesn't come off the field. Like, it, it, it's the – he didn't get a ton of QB pressures. Yeah. That's what I was shocked by. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and you know, uh, what's impressive about him is he's played every defensive snap for the Raiders – in 200 and something games that poor bastard you know what i mean like so you talk about you talk about hungry you talk about hungry and and and, and a, a guy that that maxes out his contract yeah he he they're getting every sit out of him yeah 
Yeah. Mm-hmm. Passion. He's, he's he's balling out and, and passion. I thought it was really good. And I don't want this to be here's the other thing I don't want this to be. Yep. The Justin Field or Tyson Bajan isn't Justin Field show either, right? Like I I really do. I genuinely I was at the game, got to see him up close. I genuinely enjoyed watching Tyson Bajan yesterday yeah. because I thought he did a lot of things really, really well. He delivered the football quickly. He was decisive. I thought he dealt with pressure in the pocket very well. The few times that there was pressure. I love his him. interviews. I, I love the way he handles his interviews. Here, my, here, my, my, the issue that I have with Tyson Bajan isn't, isn't Bajan at all. It's the city of Chicago. It's, it's building somebody up. It's building somebody up. Yeah. And if, if Bajan doesn't, if he doesn't, if he doesn't live up to the expectations yeah. of, you know, trade fields away and three games later, because we haven't seen this guy over yeah. three games later, he doesn't go live up to the expectations that we say. Then we start, people start bad mouthing and they'll get him out of there. And he's not this, he's not that. It's just not a, it, I, I, it's, it's not a, it's not a, it's not fair to him. Yeah. You know, he came out, he did great. And I'm, I'm happy for him. D2 rookie. A right. year ago, he Absolutely. was preparing for Colorado School of Mines. Yeah. Yeah. What? Yeah. He's yeah. playing in the NFL. He won his first game. What he did yesterday was really impressive. Oh, yeah. Got the ball out quick. He he managed the offense. He managed the offense down the field. We ran the ball extremely well. We scored yes. three touchdowns yeah. with, uh, from our from our running back. All wasn't from running, but we did score three touchdowns from uh, Deontay Foreman. That's impressive. It, it, it makes life. And listen, I haven't. I feel like. I've done this when we've had this game plan, and I'm I'm willing to give praise to people. I'm the person that listen. I'm gonna kill you when you do something wrong. I'm gonna praise you when you do something right, even if it's just for the moment. Right? So if you don't want to die, you better be right. Hey, oh God! But <laughs> for me, Luke Getzey yesterday called a perfect game plan for a young quarterback. It was awesome. Running game was on point. The blocking scheme was there. I loved what I saw from that. I thought that defensively, or I'm sorry, I thought that uh, uh, offensively. The, the push that they had from the offensive line on the run plays was great. Deontay Foreman hit the holes perfectly, and it made it so Tyson Bajan didn't have to do nearly as much as you would ask somebody who's been starting in the league to do long term. Yeah, yeah. He, he he got the ball into DJ Moore's hands the first, you know, within the first five plays, two times within the first five plays of the game. Um, uh, you know, everybody knows that, that that guy has to have the ball in his hands, or we need to – it should be – etched into the 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 15 play script or you know the 15 play script that DJ Moore somehow has to get the ball into his hands you yeah. know and, um uh I, I just you know and 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 even because the the focus is Tyson Badgett Badgett but this defense was the defense played I mean they they they're playing lights out they're playing lights out and they're getting better every week and it's because of this no, I'm not going to say. Yeah, it's because of this linebacker play. Hey, I love linebackers it. Linebackers are flying around, it. baby. They flying. They're and, flying. And it makes – here's the thing. It makes Tyson's life – the second touchdown was from an interception that Tremaine Edmonds gets, and it puts him at the 40. Boom. Let's go. I can make my life easier here. That's I, – I said this about uh, uh, when Ryan Pace signed Khalil Mack. Yep. The be- that's the best thing. He, not Allen Robinson, not – he didn't help him offensive line wise mostly, mm-hmm. but n- none of the weapons that he added to it, none of the running game, none of that. Adding Khalil Mack to this team was the best thing he did for Mitchell Trubisky's career. Yeah, because it allowed Mitch to start very many drives. Yeah, in short field situations, yeah. not having to drive ninety nine yards down the field, mm-hmm. trying to get down there and 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 you know have to actually okay, we got to operate things perfectly mm-hmm. to get all the way down here. To me, seeing this defense come into form, that made Tyson's Bajan, Tyson Bajan's job so much easier yesterday because there were times where, boom, takeaways. Jalen Johnson getting the pick six. Got to talk more in depth about that. But seeing the defense allow or not allow the Raiders to get down the field, they're punting. Trent Taylor takes getting it back 10 yards. Third down, getting off the field on third down was important, you know, but taking the ball away is, yeah, you know, that's, that's, Three that's takeaways playing at yesterday. the top level. That's playing at the top level. And uh, Jalen getting uh, uh, two picks, taking one to the house. Um, that's outstanding. He that's said outstanding. the price went up. I love it. Absolutely. I, it, it, I love it. Yeah. Absolutely. absolutely. <laughs> but you know, the, you know, the thing about him and the rest of that defensive backfield, um, they're, 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 they're victims of, a lack of pass rush. Yes. You know, and so when 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 we add those pieces, and I believe that we, we need to keep Jalen Johnson. We mm-hmm. need to keep him 
And it's going to pay off once we we focus on getting those interior pass rushers yeah. and we start getting that ball out on time. We start getting that ball out on time. Those, those guys are going to take advantage of it. We're going to get pick – it's going to be pick city all over the place or sack city, sack fumble. Yeah. But balls, uh, footballs are coming out. We're scooping and we're scoring. Everybody's going to be happy. Yeah. It, it And it's – it really is that simple of the equation, right? Like we've said this multiple times on the podcast, but it's you got to go through the trenches. You have to be able to build this team up through the trenches because even yes, I, I keep saying this, the game plan offensively and the game plan defensively have looked their best when there's just been that push from both sides of the trenches. Even yesterday, they didn't have a great day getting to the quarterback, yep. but there was consistent pressure around Brian Hoyer. Yep. Yannick Ngakwe was in his face two, three times yesterday. And, and <coughs> oh, there you go. You, you okay. Oh, oh, what? <coughs> oh uh, doubled it up. Hey, 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 drop it in the comments. Hey, appreciate you. Good to see you. Right, good to see you. <laughs> I don't even know where to go from now. Just like, no, we <laughs> no, I just I, I, I think that, you know, like the consistency that we're seeing on both sides, mm -hmm. we've talked about coming out of the Denver game, Commanders game, and now this game. That's been the thing that has got us talking about the Bears in a more positive light. Can I talk about Yannick Ngakwe doing the spin move against the run? All right. I, I stood up. I was sitting next to Alex Brown, and I was like, did he just do a – he said a spin move against the run mm -hmm. and the run was going to the other side of the field mm -hmm. i'm like wow I've, i don't know if i've seen that before i don't know if i've seen it you know uh uh and it's it was new it was new for me <laughs> as a and uh and as a coach i'm you know i'm gonna you call you over and I'm saying listen we don't i don't know what you're doing i didn't coach you on it i didn't that's not a fundamental all right that wasn't a pass and he did a spin move away from the run yeah all right <laughs> And all it did was take you away from the ball. Oh, uh, it was one of those deals, man. It was one of those. It was interesting to me. And surprisingly enough, right, this Bears team on the run defense, I believe right now they're top five in the NFL. Yes. Running against the run. Like, they've done a really good job with it. And a lot of question with Yannick Ngakwe was how are you going to leave him out there on run on run uh, downs? You got to be a complete defensive end. You know what I mean? You're too young to not be a complete defensive end, you know, and, and that means that you need to be steady on the, versus the run, not just a pass rusher. Yeah. You know, be complete. Be like, you know, and, and I, 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 you can use Max Crosby as an example of, of a guy that's passionate about, listen, I'm not just a pass rusher. I'm a playmaker. Yeah. You know, and that's, I think, what we're really asking of, of, of uh, Yannick Ngakwe. You know, yes, we know you, you, you're, you're, you're known to be a pass rusher. But be a playmaker. Yeah. All right. That's what we need. We need playmakers. We need to be, if you're in the core of this defense, be a playmaker because once those interior guys come in, it's going to clear things up for you on the outside. You're going to get all the sacks that you want, that you want to get. But we need you against that run. We have to. We need you because every gap is accounted for. And if your gap isn't, you know what I mean? That's on you. It's about accountability. Yeah. I, I, I thought that to me, Yannick, it, it's not that he gets around the ball. Yeah. yeah, I mean, he gets around the ball on the run, yeah. but he definitely relies on the other guys to to make up the bulk of the pressure on the run. And and I to to their credit, right, Justin Jones, Andrew Billings, I talked about it before the season started. I said though they're run stuffers. They're not pass rushers. Neither of them are pass rushers. Justin Jones getting home, I love it. He I think he he got a, a sack on Brian Hoyer yesterday. But I like Billings. they're not pass rushers. I like Billings. I think um, I think. Yeah, yeah. in that he's he's in that rotation. Yeah, because I think he can be a force in that middle as a as a nose. Um, um, once that once that premier three technique comes back to the next of him to next to him, I think we I think we're much stronger. I really do like Billings. He's very good against the run. Yeah, he's he's stout. And I mean, have we seen enough? Uh, from the bear uh, week over week right now, kind of we can get into coach and get into some of your grades as well. But week over week, when we're looking at the Bears, what has been the thing that they've been able to do that has this defense moving in the right direction while still having pass rush that's creating pressure yeah. but not getting home a ton? Linebackers, you know, there's a sack, one of the sacks that happened uh, yesterday. Um, TJ Ed Edwards was up on the line of scrimmage and uh, it was a, it was a mistake by their offensive line, but their, their guard kicks out to block uh, T 
TJ and leaves the uh, uh, Josh Jacobs to block uh, our nose. Yeah. You know, in which no, we know about right, that here. Right, right. Which ain't gonna, it's not going to work. That's yeah. what that's the comp. That's the uh, that's the that's the that's the that's the combo that we want. And uh, we end up getting a sack out of it. But to me, um, the our our linebackers are flying around. They're flying around and they're making plays. And if they're doing that, we have a chance. Yeah. I always talk about that. We have a chance, you guys, when we do things the right way and we bring the right attitude, we bring the right effort. And our linebackers, our linebackers, and I, I say it each week, uh, who needs to rock? Our linebackers need to rock because right now our our the the talent level of our of our defensive line isn't where we want it. Yeah. But our linebackers, it it is. You know, our linebackers, that, that position is where we want it talent-wise. So we need them flying around. Yeah, they're, do, they're doing a good job. I even thought, you know, like we got to see on display the awareness and the understanding of uh, um, the opponent's offense from mm -hmm. Jack Sanborn yesterday. Because yeah. there was a couple tackles he made that I was like, I, I didn't think he was fast enough to get over there. But he was just already in the right position. Yep. He already knew, okay, they're, up, they're going – uh, to the left on this, I'm mm -hmm. boom, run into me. Come yeah. on, where you going? Yeah, you know I mean, like the seeing seeing the intelligence that our linebackers have, seeing the the football IQ that our linebackers have, to me is the one thing that over the last four weeks has been on pure display because they've just been in the right place, right time. Yeah, uh, you know, and just fundamentally watching them, you know, they're playing close to the ball, they're playing the QB's eyes, like getting good cheats. There, so when they get good cheats, when the once the quarterback sets up means getting close to the receiver that, the, that the, the quarterback wants to throw to means that when that ball comes out, we have a chance to make a play on yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. You know, I wasn't seeing that in week one. I wasn't seeing that in week two. You know, they were just sitting there. Result, they were spot dropping. Yeah. You know, there were too much spot dropping and allowing quarterbacks to just – Baker Mayfield just to chip, chip away at us. So, I, I'm um, like I said, I, I've I've seen an improvement in the defense, but in, in, in that improvement is mainly – in my opinion, because of the linebacker play, is there also more of a comfortability with the with the defense that they're in now? You think because to me, we were seeing soft cover too. They were just playing back. They were just waiting for guys to come to them. Yeah. Now I spot feel drop. like we're seeing spot dropping. Yes, I feel like we're seeing a lot more guys breaking on the ball, understanding where their help is. If I miss on this, um, no, the, the the spot dropping, I, I I'm not, I, I can't I can't give an excuse for. I can't give an excuse for it because that's never been a part of this style of defense. Well, it hasn't been a style part of this style of defense since I've been a part of it. Right. Okay. Spot dropping. That's that's you know Monty Kiffin. That's way back, way back. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. Um, T.J. Edwards is the only one that was in a different type of system last year. Okay. Uh, um, Sanborn was in this system last year, yep. and uh, Edmonds has been in this system for years with with uh, Buffalo. Yep. Okay, who's been one of the top defenses in the NFL over the since he was there, you know. So and, and uh, so as far as um, um, them, them, their them, their fundamentals and 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 outside of T.J. Edwards and he's been here long enough. I, you played a game. You played a football. You played this defense the way you're supposed to play it. Yeah. You know, and so I'm. You know, there's there are some mistakes that that I know that can happen in this defense. I do get that. But at the same time, um, we don't do spot dropping. Let's put it like that. We don't do spot dropping. <laughs> You're not a fan of it. Not mm -hmm. a fan of it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it, it. To me, that I think that, it, and maybe it's just them flying around. Maybe it's just them playing more aggressive, like you said. But I think that we have seen a much more competent, aggressive defense that they they feel more confident about. Yeah. I know where to be. I don't know if if it's just they needed to get more. It also could be Brian Hoyer. I mean, listen, we also have to take that aspect well, not, into it. You know he's not yeah. going to give you a deep ball. They're not – I mean, I, I see less just sitting back letting receivers run free. Yeah, you know, yeah. you have to challenge people at the line of scrimmage. You can't just let them run free. You, that just plays to the offensive strengths and their timing. You know, um, that's what I saw the first three weeks, and I've been waiting for them to come up. Now you're seeing them up more close to the line of scrimmage, and to the closer to the line of scrimmage, you have to be accounted for on that offense. So now you become a threat. Now you they have to worry about you rather than you worrying about everything that they do. All right. Let's jump into Lance's grades here because uh, Lance giving some good grades here for the Chicago Bears yesterday. A dominant win versus the Raiders, but uh, not going to lie. 
seeing some A pluses on here. It surprised me a little bit. Did I? Surprised me a little bit. Couple of A plus, A plus plus Listen. on one of these. Let's start off here, coaching wise. Yes. A plus plus. Oh yeah. This how is... do you get a plus plus? Oh, how do you get a plus plus? How do you get a plus plus? Ooh, well, I'll the double plus what, is crazy. The double plus is crazy. You know, what I mean, I wish I could have had a few of those. In, I feel uh, like I that's 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 Bill Belichick level, Super Bowl level. Right? Well, you know, I mean, plus the, plus. the plus plus comes from the the. This is. This is because it's it's there's some behind the scenes understanding that you must know. You see, I, get, I caught a lot of flack last week for my great a lot coach. of flack. It's more more importantly, it was for coaching. Okay, yeah. But in coaching, I I said, listen, I'm I've seen I've seen something different in this team. Okay, and and and, and this is outside of the mistakes. Okay, they didn't win the game, but they're coming out and they're playing with a different type of energy and they're they're carrying a different type of attitude and that. It all it's trickle down, so it starts with the coach. You know, <clears throat> I didn't see that in week one, two, and three. I've seen an improvement through these through these weeks, um, and now we're at the point now where you can you can see it. You can see it from the offensive linemen. You can see it from the defense while they're out there. They're excited. Yeah, they're passionate. You can see the passion. So the A plus plus comes from me knowing what I'm talking about. Number one. <laughs> number two, we got to win. Number two, we got to win on top of what I'm talking about. <laughs> hey, some of y'all are crazy. I ain't going to lie to you, bro. My favorite thing from last week was seeing people in the comments like, why would I listen to a linebacker on what a quarterback needs to do? Yeah. And I was like, do you, first off, because he played in the NFL. Second off, y'all realize he has to study quarterbacks so he knows when they're going to throw the ball, how they're going to throw the ball, who they're throwing the ball. Like, I was sitting there dying laughing, watching people like, what does Lance know about quarterback play? See, I don't, you know, <laughs> listen. I don't get into, I don't, I don't get into all of that. You know what I mean? Everybody is entitled to their opinion. Yeah. You know, everybody's entitled to their opinion. It's just like that, that same person that, that probably made that comment probably wants Caleb Williams to be the first draft pick oh, we yeah. take. Okay. Oh, but yeah. so you don't know, be to me, it's about knowing what, what the Bears need to succeed. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not about what the Bears need to succeed. And I'm gonna continue to 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 speak my truth. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna speak my truth. All right. And easy, uh, Lizzo. But you know, like I said, man, the, the, the grades are open to comments, is it's and I, and I do, it's not that I don't read. I don't read it because sometimes there's a lot. I, I do read them. Yeah. Uh, you know what I mean? I do read them, but that's your opinion. I loved you fun. yesterday. I ain't going to lie. When it, when uh, you was like, are we serious on like the, the Tyson Bajan starting quarterback stuff? And one guy's like 90% uh, uh, trolling ourselves for being in this situation again, 10%. But whatever you like, yeah, yeah. understandable. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I feel that. Uh, only pushback I'll give on the plus plus. Okay. Right? Only pushback. Okay. Because plus plus is wild. Double plus, crazy. Um, is Flus as a DC to me has been elite over the last, I'll say three weeks. Okay. As a head coach. The, to me, there's no way you looked at the game plan that they had with the Vikings after seeing the two game plans they had versus the Commanders in Denver, and you're like, "Hey, Luke, uh, yeah, keep running that." <laughs> well, he, just, just for me, right? As as the guy that runs everything, I would be like, "Luke, this isn't working. I get this is what you want to run, but we need to make an adjustment because we're gonna lose this game by six. <laughs> well, I mean. If I, if if you hired me, if mm -hmm. you hired me as your offensive coordinator, and um, I presented you with my game plan, you said okay, all right, that's fine, and we go out there and it's it's not working. Our right. script isn't working, you know, or you know, I mean, not to your taste. Yeah. Okay. And then you come over and you say, change your hey, you need to change something up. Yeah. All right. Um, you know, it's it's. To me, it's one of those deals where it's like, maybe. yeah, Lower you're undermining, undermining and you you you're not trusting that I know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. you know now after that is the concern. Though. Now afterwards, <laughs> afterwards, if if none of what you like you you're gonna you can berate me. You can do everything that you say. Hey man, yeah. what you know, you know you said this was gonna work. We trusted you. We put our trust and all of that stuff. You know, so there's there's some there's some levels to this thing. You know, yeah, yeah. there's some levels to this thing. Now, absolutely. Now, if you were my coordinator, it won't work. Listen, what are you doing? Yeah, you know what I mean. Let's let's. Let's do, you know what I mean? Let's get something, let's get something moving. Yeah. All right. What are we, what are we, what is your game plan moving forward now? And, and, and listen, this week, it felt like he went back to, not granted, versus with a, with a very different quarterback there in Beijing and all of that. But mm -hmm. 
it, it felt like he went back to what we saw versus the commanders. We're going quick. We're getting the ball out. And this is the part, right, where the Bajant Fields conversation to me that people kind of close their eyes and they only remember the Vikings game with Fields. Justin Fields is getting the football out in 2.7 seconds versus the commanders. It's one of the best pass rushers, front four pass rushers in the NFL. Yeah, like they they they're they're an elite pass rush now. They be coming out a little little fiery yesterday after yeah. that loss to the to the Bills or not to the uh, to the Patriots, I should say. But uh, it was it was interesting. Uh, but I just I I I look at those moments and say, you did this in this moment, and it feels like you wanted to go back to what you want to do, not to what works for our players. And for me, when I look at coaching, that's the part of coaching that I praise the most. Uh, 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 which Harbaugh is still in the league? John, right? John, John Harbaugh yep. changed his entire brain to allow Lamar Jackson to be the person he is today. Yeah. <laughs> because yeah, they like were Joe Flacco, drop back, yeah. pocket pass, or all, and he tried that with Lamar in the beginning. Yep. And he was like, we don't have an offensive line. We don't have receivers that are good enough for this. We need to change something. Mm-hmm. Use your legs right now. I, I, if there's anything that – if there's any reserve to that extra plus, because, you know, part of that plus is that, ha, take that! <laughs> you know, but the other – but the other part – um, Second there plus, any, should it be a Kaplan face? Is that what you said? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> yes. <laughs> just the, just the cap uh, face on the second <laughs> plus. Is, is, um, is, has been the, the way that – the way that they've handled PR. You know, the, mm, the questions, yep. the, the, there's things okay. that – that I was disappointed in how he he answered instead of you know just be honest just don't lie to me just be straight you know what I mean like we there's, want the center with the most experience yeah you know there's there's <laughs> there's there's things that you want to that you want to keep in house I get it but that's not like it's that's such a small tiny little bitty bitty that's bitty your, lie that it's <laughs> yeah like it's. <laughs> Right. We went with who we went with. That, that, like that, we that. went with who we thought would give us the best chance. We were wrong. We put somebody else in. That's not hard for me. Yeah. And as a as a fan looking in, yep, they went with who they thought was best. All right. For, for and, that and, and was right. Yeah. <laughs> in right. two in in the two games versus the commanders, we had the week off. Or we, had, we had a week off, but they played like they had the week off. Uh, yeah. They had the bad week versus the Vikings, and now. You put Lucas back in you the fourth quarter that right. game, in this entire game. It's like, hey, he's better. As soon as you say, as soon as you say we went the guy who has the most experience, people are gonna fact check you. They're gonna fact check you quickly. They're like, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because I literally I was like, Lucas Patrick got drafted as a guard. Yeah. I knew this. I was like, I remember him. So I I like the direction that coaching is taking. Yep. I thought they coached very well this game, and these grades are just for this game. Correct. So th- they did a very good job for this game. I don't know the, the last ninety minutes of the first half. Were you were you like me, just like what are y'all doing right now? I was well. I was like, this is ninety minutes, ninety seconds. I want to be okay. Ninety. Yeah, okay. I'm gonna say ninety half. minutes. That's hey, pretty much hey, the old. That's the game. Don't worry yeah. about it. Ninety uh, seconds. Hey, 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 good to see you. Uh, Keep it up. There you go. Hey, <laughs> all you, all you play, play. play, play. Uh, I was just. I was. I was. Going into the halftime, I was more worried about let's let this let's not let this be a tale of two halves, yeah, which has been common play this year. You know, we come out in the second half, third quarter, and we lose ground. Defense, you know, gives up touchdowns yep. and all that good stuff. And they they responded. They responded and played four quarters. That's what I think had me upset. Is there are times when I get it right, like you're winning, you don't want to screw things up, you don't want to hurt the kid's confidence. Either he goes out there, throws a pick, two minute drill, blah blah blah. But I don't think you can hurt Tyson Bajan's confidence. I don't know if anybody's uh-uh. seen his dad. He's my favorite person in the world. Yes, he is the funniest dude ever, and he knows he's the greatest at what his sport is. Yeah, I watched him look a guy in the eye while he was about to try and beat him. I think this was for a championship, and he said, "You better get it now, or you're gonna lose." Too late. And just slowly went the other. He's my favorite. He beat him. He goes the other way. He's my favorite person I've ever heard talk on a mic outside of his son right now. Okay. But so I say that to say, I don't think you can hurt his confidence. But the Bears play that end of the game like we won't blow this in the second half. And I or that end of the half like we won't blow this in the second half. And I don't think you're a good enough team yet to do that. It worked. It it worked. It Today, worked. It worked. when it's Brian Hoyer, it worked. <clears throat> and it, and uh, I think it it 
it worked because uh, the defense didn't lag off in the second yeah. half. You know, the, the question marks that you're having really, really, to me, circles around the defense. And and the defense has been more lackadaisical in the second half, especially in that third quarter where, you know, they're giving up, you know, two, uh, uh, one, two touchdowns yeah. or giving up really long drives, yeah. you know, where it eats all the clock up and giving up points too. So, you know, if you have a solid, stout defense, you know, that changes, you know, that game plan at those last 90 seconds. Yeah, I, I mean, listen, you gave the defense an A+. Plus. Um, and and uh, no no plus plus for the defense. Nope, but that's a solid. Plus. Listen, A yeah, plus is solid a now. Plus. That's still pit. Listen, you, three takeaways. I'm not gonna bring you my a report defensive card. score. <laughs> we had some sacks. Yeah. Listen, we 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 stuffed the run. All right. Listen, that's 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 what more can you ask for? You can't ask for a whole lot more out of your defense. I thought the thing that the defense did best yesterday was on second down. Uh -huh. They were forcing Oakland to be in Oakland. Good Lord, I went back. They were forcing Vegas to be in long second down, longer second downs that were turning into longer third down. They were winning on first down. And, and absolutely, like once you get Brian Hoyer in a long third down, he, yeah. he can't get, he can't throw it that far no more. Yeah. He, he, I mean, you, you played against Brian. I, I played you, with him. You played. Well, oh, I you played. played. He was. Uh, did he you? Was, yeah, yeah. He was on the he was on the squad, I believe. Oh, I forgot he about that. Squad. Yeah, he, he, it was he maybe your last. It was like it was, it was the very end. Yeah, the very end. The very end. Yeah. Oh, I forgot about that. Something we like say that. that to say he's old. In football years. Yes, in football. In football years. years. Yeah, he's got, he's in got human years, yes, he's, he's got a, young. He's got a lot of life left. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm yes. not saying it's over. Yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> right, right, right. Although, although, if they keep him out there. It might be over. I, 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 he's, I, he's, he's got I'm some pass rushes coming I'm happy, up against them. <laughs> I'm happy. Listen, I'm happy he's still cutting it, getting the cut. They got them to cut the check, man. Hey, man. Cut but, that check. But uh, defensively, I thought we saw a lot of good things yesterday as well. We talked about a lot of them. Uh, we, we touched on Jalen Johnson a little bit. Um, where are you right now as far as if we keep Jalen Johnson? Him. Resign Resign him. At what number? Because in, I, I believe that Jalen Johnson believes, and he should, that he's a top corner in the NFL. Yep. I don't believe that Jalen Johnson is a top he has corner a, in the NFL. He is he a top corner in the NFL? Yes. Has he performed at that level? No. So mm -hmm. he ha that has to come into consideration when he's in his negotiation. You know, um, you have to look at you have to look at the numbers. And you have to say, all right, the top guys last year did these numbers. Yeah. These are numbers you did. You know. We want to sign, re-sign you, but you're not going to get that number. Yeah. So, you know. Well, I think that's the tough part, right? Because with the numbers. Now, listen, pass breakup numbers, QBR against them. He's got a lot of numbers that go in his favor. Yeah. The big number is takeaways, right? And he got two of them yesterday. Love to see that. But when you look at guys who have similar numbers to him as far as the takeaway aspect, pass breakup, you talk about guys that are making maybe, you know, $10 million a year. I don't think Jalen Johnson believes – if he hits free agency, somebody's going to pay him as little as $10 million a year. So how do you gauge that? Well, I mean, what do you do when you put the, uh, you put the, give him the, uh, it's the, it's the, 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 the light franchise where you allow him to um, uh, market himself. Yeah. And you have the right of first refusal. Mm. Yeah. I, I can see that. I can see that. And if because the fr offers you something, way, that the franchise is eighteen million for. Him. Yeah, no, I'm, if they franchise him, he gets eighteen million. There's too. the I think there's and the then there's, franchise. there's the one where he can yeah you can market yourself. Yep. Then we get right of first refusal. See what you can get. If you get a number that we can't mess with, then you know more power to you. Best yeah. of luck. You know, but if it's something that we think is reasonable, we'll match that. You know, we'll match that. You stay a bear. And I'm, I'm fine. He's a good player. That's what. It, that's the part that's tough about this, right? Is everything outside of the takeaway numbers and takeaway numbers come from the one thing that this Bears team is missing a ton: pressure. Everything outside of that, I love Jalen Johnson for. Yeah, but when I look at those DBs that make those monies, they're the guys that take it to the house. But there's also usually. A pass rush in front of them. <laughs> Man, we had we had uh we had Tommy Harris, we had Anthony Adams, we had Alex Brown and Ottawale Agunlier. Yeah. And uh Nathan Vasher in his rookie year had I think eight picks, you know. Um and 
and it was it was amazing to see. He played well. He played extremely well that year, but we had a crazy pass rush. Yeah. You know, um, you, the, unfortunately for Jalen, when he became a bear, it's the one thing that we didn't have. It's the one thing that we did not have, you know. It's the one thing. Hey, 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 two and four, two and four, right there. Two, yep, two mm-hmm. and that's mine right there. <laughs> uh, that's the one thing that we we did not, we don't have. So yeah. he he just it's he's victim of circumstance. Yeah, and, and I I agree. And I think if you can address the pass rush, he has that. Uh, um, who was the young man we had when uh, Vic was here? Who had the elite season? It's not oh Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller. I always get his name and Kyler Gordon mixed yep. up. Kyle Fuller. Kyle Fuller had a great season with that pass rush. Yeah, and he was a good cornerback. Mm-hmm. But when that pass rush wasn't there, he wasn't the same level of corner. Well, he he dropped a lot of picks too. He dropped. Some picks. He dropped. He, picks. he dropped. Some picks. If he would have held on to those picks, he gets that number. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Kyle was. I remember he was a he was a rookie. He was a rookie in uh, 2013. Yep. You know, and started started the year off with two picks. Yeah, you know, in the first game, I believe. You know, but. Um, that I think him and Jalen are different from the from the standpoint that Kyle dropped picks. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay. Jalen didn't didn't have his hands on the on the football. You know. So there's a little different there. Yeah. Uh, special teams a minus. We had a uh, we had a it was a PAT block. PAT block. We had yeah. a PAT block. No, no, uh, blocked field goal. It was a blocked field blocked goal. Blocked field goal. They they got down there uh, first drive. Blocked it was a blocked goal. field goal. To be honest, I was that's that's a generous grade for a blocked field goal. It really is. You know that that should be a B plus. Um, however, I thought that uh, you know listen. Listen, the professor hey, professor hey, knew that A's you, were coming. You, I'm giving out A's. All right, I'm giving out. You make kicks. A's. You block field goals. You did your job. Good right, job. Uh, you but you know, I, I thought I thought special teams um, throughout the day um, was beneficial to everybody else. Yeah, you know, what I mean, and they did make plays and, and all that good stuff. Didn't take the ball away, but they were they were they helped. They very they very much so helped the team win. Recovered a uh, a nice. Uh, onside kick that went off of uh, I don't know who that was face that's right that was yeah. a yeah, hey, yeah is that a new onside kick tactic that needs to be utilized in the NFL it's that like wasn't the, it's bad like, it's like the uh, the uh, free throw rule you, you know what <laughs> yeah. I mean you ding it off the rim I used to, that do, that. I used to do that on the, on the courtyard that wasn't bad I yeah. mean you kick it straight in his face he's got a helmet on he's safe it bounces up yep. free ball yeah you know I mean like I don't think I've ever seen one done like that because he just kicked it right at him as hard as he could. Usually it's like we want to hit it on the ground. It bounces up. You no, no, over no. There. Line drive it into his face mask. <laughs> his face. Oh, man. And then finish it off offensively. You gave the offense an A. What did you see offensively outside of uh, the young man Tyson Bajan? They didn't turn the ball over? Yeah. They drove. They brand the ball well. We, we, we spread the ball around, and we scored. And we scored. We put up points. So when you put up points and you reduce points on defense, you don't give up a lot of points on defense, you score on offense, you know, um, you find ways to win more often than not. If we do not, and and the latest that I'd heard is is there's some grip strength returning to Justin. I yeah. uh, don't know if he's going to play in this Sunday night game. I think we're no. probably leaning towards him not playing. Probably not, yeah. But without having surgery, right, quick recovery time, different things like that, with – now going in, Tyson having tape that the uh, uh, Chargers can break down, knowing that he did a lot of short passes, they're probably going to take those away. How do you keep Tyson being as efficient as he was? Number one, you got to run the ball. You got to be able to run the ball. You run the ball well, it'll open up things that you want to do. Uh, it's going to be interesting because the, he'll be tested a little bit differently. You know, uh, uh, San Diego, they're going to break this Los tape Angeles. down. Yeah, are, yes, right. You You're absolutely yeah, right. We both then went back a little yep. bit today. Los That's Angeles, all right. <laughs> Los Angeles. Los Angeles is going to break down tape, um, and they're going to do things to take away the short game. Yep. And they're going to say, I want you to beat us. I want you to use your arm. Yeah. They're going to see that. <laughs> I got they didn't, they're going to they're gonna see that he was taken out before uh, that Hail Mary, and they're going to say that his, his, uh, his long range, he doesn't have a, a – he doesn't have a, a, a deep ball or his deep ball is going to be questionable. So yeah. if we get pressure on him with Bosa and Mac, yeah. that he's going to throw us one. He's going to throw us a few of them. Yeah, it, it's I, taking him out, letting Peterman throw it down. I, I get it, right? Like, I do think that there's a – I don't know if there's a lack of arm strength. I think there's a lack of deep ball accuracy with Tyson Bajan a little bit. I don't know. 
I don't know. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I want to wait and see. I want to hold my my hold, reserve my comment on that because I want to see what happens. Yeah, time, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? He has. A we ton only of saw the the pick to DJ Moore. That was the deepest pass he's thrown yeah. since he's been a starter. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. and that was it was well underthrown, but uh, I was off the running foot, left, the going. Yeah, 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 it was. Yeah, yeah. You know, I don't think that's. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know, not a lot of quarterbacks can throw off their back foot like that yeah. and 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 chuck it all the way to Talking where it needs to be. The, yeah. the Rodgers of the world that are yeah, doing that yeah, pretty yeah, much. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, offensively, I think that they if they can keep this going versus the Chargers, especially the run game, um, the Chargers are in disarray. Like I, I don't know what the Chargers are. Too much talent. I have no idea what they are. Too much talent to to give up the amount of points they give up and be as as uh, uh, um, I wouldn't say undisciplined, just just not balanced. Just there's, you, it's, they're too hot and cold. They're hot and cold offensively. I think it's just mostly cold though. I mean, it's like a I'm, lot of cold. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. Like I, I, and very much like the like the Raiders yesterday, right? Like Austin Eckler, now he's been hurt more of the season, but he has not looked like Austin Eckler that we thought he was. Right. Uh, um, the, the quarterback play's been up and down, but he's always been up and down. Like I, I, yeah, you know I mean, like. The Chargers just feel weird because we look at it and we're like, there's so much talent there. Mm -hmm. They have the same amount of wins as the Bears do right now. <laughs> That's too bad. That's too bad. Don't waste away that talent like that. Yeah, but well, uh, we'll see kind of where it all ends up uh, heading into next week versus the Chargers. Hopefully they'll be able to come out of there with the win. If uh, if they do come out of there with a win, that would put the Bears at three and five. Ladies and gentlemen, the Bears are on the bubble. Mm -hmm. If they can get a win next week versus the Chargers. Technically, we're on the bubble right now. Too many playoff teams, bro. Yep. Too many playoff teams mm -hmm. in this league right now, Don. Yep. We got 15 playoff teams pretty much. So we'll see what that ends up being. Hey, hit that like button. Subscribe to the page. Appreciate you guys for showing love to the channel. Uh, as always, it's your boy, Pat the Designer. Back at it again. Joined by Lance Briggs. I'll see y'all down. Hey, hey, yep. Yep. Two, two and three and Praise four God. and five. Yep. 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 See y'all, though. Peace.